Welcome everyone again to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about how to get a non-purchased songs onto your Apple Music on your iPhone. Now, the, the topic is that to purchase Apple Music on your iPhone, you can use the iTunes Store. You can use it directly and purchase songs one by one. So that's really good. It's actually not on the App Store, it's on the iTunes Store, but I have deleted that. So iTunes Store is what I have to look up and you can see this is the app which I was looking for. And inside of this app, you can download individual songs. So in case you want to get these, you know, you have no problem with that. But in case you want to add some different songs, without the uh, payment or without uh, buying the songs. Let's say you have some songs already available. Let's say you have some MP3 files on your own. It could be music recordings. It can be MP3 file, whatever you have, you can still sync the library of your iPhone with your computer. So uh, if you, for example, open up the files app, you can see that you have, I can have some MP3 file. It's a recording. It can be a song, whatever it is. I can basically just move it over, share it to my computer using email or any other means, for example, using AirDrop, doesn't matter. But when I connect it and share it to my computer, I will be able to find it somewhere uh, there. So if I open it up like this, you can see that here is my iPhone, but I will be able to find it within the, uh, within the downloads app. And you can easily just add it to the music app in case you really wanted to. You can, of course, go ahead and fire up the music app as well. It's going to open it up. And you can see on the left side, I have a section for iPhone. This only shows up when I connect my iPhone to a computer with a cable. But once you find it, here is basically a list of all the songs and all the titles which are available on your iPhone. If you want to add new stuff, new songs in here, all you have to do is just to grab it like this and paste it inside of there. And it's perhaps gonna take a while, but it will eventually show up there. So that's good. And of course, besides that, you have some other options as well. So you can, for example, just minimize it like this, still be within the, the folder. And on the folder, you can see locations right here. So you have the iPhone, and when you show it up, you can see I can click on the sync button, and I will sync all of the songs and everything right here. So if I, for example, I can also manually click on that and I can manually manage the music. So I can click on the way that it works. Like, I mean, it, it's up to you to decide. So it, yes, you can apply it. You can click apply like this. So I will sync and replace all of the songs, songs and all of the music. So you can sync it as well. And that's how you can put the songs onto your Apple music app. So even the songs that you didn't technically purchase because they were your own or you have some other MP3 files, you can still put them on the uh, music application. If you have a different computer like a PC or Windows laptop, you're going to have to download the iTunes app from the internet, install it and perform the same step. There you will be able to see your iPhone connected the same way as I've shown you. And there you can again sync the libraries and put the songs as much as you like there. So that's how it basically works. I'm going to talk about one more option here or one more point within this situation. But before I need to show you one thing which I've been working on, I think you're going to really like it because it is basically the Fox Tech educational platform. It is a platform which I created. It is free to join. The link can be found down below in the description. And you can see there are other people already learning and there are video editing guides. Everything is for free. So you can see full video editing course all apps explained as of right now. These are the things which are available in here. <clears throat> and of course, more will be added in the future. So if you are interested, make sure to join it. It's down below in the description, as I said, free to join. Okay, and the next thing I wanted to talk about is, as I said, let's say that you have the file, MP3 file, let's say it's a voice recording or something that you have on your files app. If you want to move it over to the actual music application, is it really the case? Do you really want to just have it there or do you just want to play it in a comfortable and good way? Because if this is the option, if the latter is the option, you can still go to the app store and look up some different app. Let's say it's going to be the documents app. If you look up the documents app, you can use this app. I like this one a lot. I can use it as an actual music player as well as file directory. So you can see this is what it looks like on my uh, device. I'm going to come back to the uh, files app on my on my iPhone. I'm going to hold down on this little thing and I'm going to 
share it like this. It's going to show up like with multiple different things. And instead of just airdropping it to my computer or using some other apps, I can just move over and find the documents. I can click on that and I'm going to save it within the document. So I, let's say I will play it in here and you can see it gets me inside and I have an actual MP3 file, which I can use and open up. You can see it even shows the unknown artist because it's basically created by me and you can play it. You can use it as, as a regular music player. Nothing wrong with that. It just works. Of course, you don't even need to use the Apple music application. So it's up to you to decide what at the end works best for you and just go from that. But I'm going to wrap up this video right now. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up, but definitely subscribe down below so you never miss future tutorials and videos like this one. Thanks all for watching. See you guys later.